this is an elderly person with a neglected cataract who presented to us with a phacolytic glaucoma the pressure was somewhere in the 60s and after putting him on uh, anti glaucoma medications and uh, steroids and when it was relatively controlled that is at about 30 32 mm of mercury he was taken up for surgery so initially uh, i have planned for a small incision uh, cataract surgery i am doing my peritomy once i have done uh, a peritomy i do a, a sort of a steam roller uh, uh, cautery it should be lighter than this i then using my limbs as fixation i go ahead and fashion my frown incision once done i use my crescent blade to fashion the corneoscleral tunnel just watch how i am going across the tunnel and making the incision i am always trying to cut sideways and backwards try to avoid too much forward movement and prematurely enter into the anterior chamber now that the scleral pockets also have done i am entering with my side port knife and can you see those membranes peeling off from the uh, periphery of the anterior chamber i do on the other side another side port just in case i need it and there's that you can see another membrane just peeling off once i have done my side ports i enter into the anterior chamber with a keratom and at this point i am not going to enlarge the incision i just enter and come out i then take uh, my hydrous dissection uh, syringe and wash out the ac i'm trying to wash out these uh, exudative membranes and exudates from the anterior chamber to give me better visualization i place an air bubble after which i am staining the anterior capsule with trypan blue and expelling both with 2% hpmc i then take my 26 gauge needle and i make a superior flap i'm not going from the inferior side watch very carefully and just wash out the fluid that has egressed into the anterior chamber and place some more hpmc you will see me doing this very often putting in hpmc and i once again continue my praxis with the cystitome however it's not very easy the nucleus itself is very mobile and hence i just increase the incision a wee bit and taking a uthrata forceps i very carefully watching the peripheral tag and fashioning my rexus and there you have it the rexus is done may not be adequate that i will see later since i i don't think it is big enough i scallop one edge make a small cut with my vanas take my uthrata forceps and go ahead and scallop it and this should be adequate and then go ahead and open up the entire incision and this is what i want to actually show how i handle the nucleus very difficult to rotate the nucleus such a mobile nucleus no epinuclear cushion so i just take two dialers go one underneath one over and pick it up this is what i call a pick up technique just bring it out and bring it out of the chamber with some posterior scleral pressure i know there is not much cortex i go ahead put in some hpmc i'm also putting watch very carefully i'm putting hpmc within the posterior chamber just giving me some space between 
the posterior part of the iris and the anterior capsule. I do not want to put the lens into the bag as this bag is not going to be very stable. I am putting my rigid PMMA lens into the sulcus. I very carefully, very important how you get it into the sulcus. See that your haptic tends up the iris and slowly goes and falls into the sulcus. The second haptic is even more difficult and I am just bending it and getting it into place. And there it is. Don't manipulate too much. I bring down the iris onto the eye oil. It's pretty round, more than enough for me. And then I aspirate. Here you try to aspirate in the periphery as well to bring out any debris or exudates that may be present. I then hydrate the wounds and close by the conjunctiva by injecting a subconjunctival into the flap. I do not place any suture. Thank you.